hi guys i'm back with another video so on this video i'll be doing another sign master tutorial uh the difference uh with this tutorial is that i'll be using my voice so that i can explain everything that you need to hear or everything that you need to know when working on sign master the previous video that i uploaded it had only text and music which i saw some comment uh, uh complaining about um the lack of explanation or lack of uh lack of educating about the video so guys without wasting any time let's go straight and open our sign master so this is sign master version 3.5 uh, so immediately when you open sign master the first thing that will show is the previous uh, work that you did so this is my previous work but there is nothing i'm not going to be working on this on this work now i'm going to start a new document so to start a new document you click here on file and then here on new and then you click document and then after you open your document you'll be you'll see a page like this one um you can change the, the size of this page the, if you want to change the size of the page which is something that I'm not gonna be explaining now but I'm going to show you just in case if you click here on layout and click here on a page setup then you will see here the size of the page is A4 if you need more sizes of the if you need more sizes or maybe you need a different size from size A4 you can just click here you'll see here there are a lot of different sizes that you can use when you want to make a, a whatever that you want to make on sign master but we're not going to be talking about this now we're going to be talking about how to work on sign master so when you see when you open your 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 your, your when you open your page then you have to import the image that you want to print on your team so the first thing that you need to do is to click here on file and click import and then you will see all the images that you have and then you will choose the image that you want to work with then after choosing the image it will appear here like this and then the only thing that you need to do is either you make it fit on your page size or you can you can leave it as big as you want it but uh, on this uh, occasion I'll make it the size of A4 so when your image is already here the other things that you need to do is to scan the image so when you scanning the image you just click here on this apple and then create cut contour you're gonna click here and then you're gonna say yes so the first thing that you need to do when you when you on this uh, page is to drag this bar it's called min size or minimum size and you put it back there so that you can be able to scan everything and appear as the way it is and then you must make sure that your holes are always kept and then you trace the image so now you trace your image and now the only thing that you need to do is to apply but first you need to check if everything everything that you want to cut it's appearing here the way you want it so the way the only way to check that is to click here on mask or caves then you will see that your contour lines are the everything that you want to everything that you want to cut is just the then you're going to say apply then you're gonna say accept and then you're gonna take the skin that you did and put it on the other side you can delete this image if you want to or you can keep it here if you want to but let me delete it and then you'll be left here with this so this is what you're going to be cutting but the only thing that you okay let me bring back that image so that we can see all the colors so if you want to do anything that you want to um, undo you click here this is undo you click here on undo 
so you can see here the art there is green the whatsapp logo is green and then the blue and the red on the youtube play button uh, logo and then so what you need to do now sorry so what you need to do is just to highlight this and right click and click here on cave editing and then click here on break apart so what you basically do when you do that is when you want to separate each color that you want to print from the other colors that you don't want to print so at this for this um for this uh, uh t-shirt that i want to print i'll first start with the white this is the white that's why it doesn't appear here because it's white and the background of sign master is also white so i'll start with the white one i'm gonna cut it separate from the other and then i'm gonna cut the other one which is this, this is um navy i'm gonna cut navy separate so this is green you can cut green separately from the others and then you can also cut the other uh, the other color separately this is done so that you do not waste your vinyl when you want to do when you when you're cutting so after that let me let me do an example of by, by this one so after this when you want to go and cut when you want to get connected to your vinyl cutter machine I'm gonna click here and then the, the settings that you need to that the settings that you need to know here is that mirror must always be marked and then um if you want to change properties if you want to change size if you like the, 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 this is um quantity so when you see now there is just one if you want to gonna click here on quantity you can see that there are two and then there are three you can go on and on as long as you have a big vinyl that can that can fit on your vinyl cutter when your settings are like this to me they are perfect you can now start cutting so um i'll show you on the other video how to work with the vinyl cutter or how, how to connect your vinyl cutter to your computer and your sign master but at this moment i'm gonna end this video right here so um if you have a question you can just leave a comment on the comment section below so that i can answer your questions and also give me a suggestion what kind of video that i can that i can that i must do or what else that you want to know about sign master and vinyl cutting and then on the other videos i'll be doing um i'll be showing you guys how to work with these tools that are here these tools are different and they have their own unique ability that you can use uh when you want to edit your work but i'll do that on the other video and there is also another videos that i already uploaded showing you guys how to remove background how to um, create logo and also i've created this one on on a app called pixel lab so you can also use that app if you want to create if you want to create something so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe on this channel so that i can keep on creating videos like this one